probably saw those mega ships and at least once wondered, why don't they just fall over? They are able to hold the weight of thousands of people and hundreds of containers and continue floating. Here are the tricks the ship has to not fall over. Modern cruises and freights are magnificent pieces of art that combined maritime tradition with innovation and technology. But these ships are nothing without these two pivotal factors, simple physics and simple design. Think of it this way. We've all been taught that ships stay afloat because they weigh less than the weight of the water they displace. The weight of the ship is pulling the ship down in the water, but it's balanced by the buoyancy, which is pushing it back up. If the buoyancy continues to be greater than the weight, the ship will continue to move upwards. To make these forces act together, engineers have to follow two key points, the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy for the buoyancy of the ship. Starting from the first point, the center of gravity. To keep the ship afloat, the center of gravity needs to be much lower in the ship, so the overall weight can pull the ship down. So what is this weight exactly? Right, it's the engines, fuel stores, and other heavy machinery. They're undeniably chunky and are always placed at the bottom, while other negative spaces like cabins and dining rooms are in the middle. The second point is the center of buoyancy. It's a well-known fact that a ship displaces water equivalent to its own mass, while the pressure of the sea pushes up against the ship's hull in order to counter the downward force. And since water can't be compressed, the combined forces create buoyancy. This buoyancy of a ship on the water depends on its density. If the ship is denser than water, bye-bye ship, it sinks down. However, if it's less dense than water, it will float. What keeps the ship afloat is the upward force, pressure, from the water. It weighs the same as the water, keeping it from sinking completely. But there is one design that plays the most important role in keeping the ship steady. It's the U-shaped hull, also known as a displacement hull. Its wide, deep bottom, made of lightweight and sturdy materials, promotes the stability it needs. You might also notice round edges where the ship meets water. Those edges minimize drag and prevent the vessel from rolling, giving its passengers a smooth ride overseas. As a bonus, the smooth ride helps to prevent motion sickness. What about the high winds, you might ask? And you're right, large waves and rush winds can make your ride a bit bumpy. Fear not, megaships can withstand the force of 50-foot waves and keep swimming. So don't be afraid to take a ride overseas and experience the marvel of engineering and physics for yourself.